Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me again. Welcome to a weekly vlog. I'm actually filming this little intro at the end of the video. It's actually the day that I'm uploading this and I've just finished editing it and realized that this vlog is a little bit all over the place. Um, it's been a busy week and it's been quite difficult to capture things um, kind of like as it's been going along, but I'm really trying to get better at it. So just bear with. I just wanted to intro the video. Basically, I filmed some footage last week. I was going to film a weekly vlog last week, but I didn't end up getting enough footage for the video. So I did post the furniture building one and how I did my painting. But I did actually film a little bit of footage in London when I went to stay at Fleur's. So I thought I would just put that in now so that you could see it because I don't want to waste the footage. And then we will get on with the rest of this week's vlog. I look like um, the, the guy from you. Oh my god, <laughs> I, whenever you wear hats, that's how you feel. I thought that the other day when like I was wearing really a hat. Yeah. suspicious. <laughs> like all wrapped up in a hat. <laughs> yeah, and the scarf yeah. as well. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. I'm actually not at home as you can obviously see. I'm in an Uber with my little angel. Hi. We <laughs> have got two really busy days planned. It's Wednesday today. We're shooting pretty much all day. And then we've got a event tonight and then we're shooting tomorrow. So a really nice day planned. I'm so excited to be in London again. I haven't really come into London for quite a while, like properly. Um, I think like before Christmas, so yeah, it's been a while, so I'm excited to be back. And I've got some really nice outfits to shoot as well, so you can see those coming soon on my Instagram. But I'll take you along for the next couple of days and show you what we get up to. I'm shooting, and see, I'm wearing this new coat from Zara the so nice, and it's so cozy as well. Oh my god, I ordered a chai latte. So I was gonna have another coffee, but I've already had one today, and it's not gonna do. It's really hard. Hey guys, I'm back at Fleur's flat now. We are just getting changed um, into our next outfits and then heading over to Mayfair. We were just shooting at Somerset House, which you would have seen. I think I did a little time lapse. Um, so yeah, we've come back changing over outfits. We're packing another one, so we're doing two outfits now. Um, and then going over to Mayfair, we're gonna go to Nanushka, which I'm obsessed with. I feel like it's so overdone, isn't it? Literally, so overdone. everyone goes there all the time, but I just love it. It just makes you feel so inspired because the interiors and everything is so nice. So yeah, that is the plan. And then we're gonna get some lunch later on. It's blue skies now and the sun's come out. So I'm quite excited to sit in the sun and have a glass of wine. Hello everyone, good morning. It's half 11. We, it's actually Thursday today. I don't know if I, it's a, um, we have come into, is this still Covent Garden? This yeah. bit, yeah, Covent Garden. To shoot a couple of outfits this morning, even though yesterday we literally shot five outfits. Um, had such a productive day. We went to um, the event that we were going to yesterday evening and then we just went for some drinks after. And then we came home and watched um, Teen First Dates, which Fleur hadn't watched before, and it was really fun. Um, and yeah, went to sleep. And now we're just going to shoot a couple of looks. Um, I've just stopped for a coffee at Watch House, which we came here yesterday, but the one in Somerset House, so Flood took me to this one. <laughs> yeah. And um, we got chai lattes and vegan banana bread. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's the plan. And then I'm meeting Georgia later, which I'm really excited for. I haven't seen her for ages. So that would be lovely. I've got a very busy, like, social two days. So um, I was literally just saying to fly, I can't wait to get home to just like not think about talking. <laughs>
So that is a little bit of footage from last week. Now let's get into this weekly vlog. I have just finished editing the video that's going live tonight. Oh my God, it's really stormy outside. Um, yesterday when we went to Sainsbury's, they had some daffodils and I absolutely love daffodils. They really brighten up um, the space and they just put me in such a good mood. I think yellow is such like a brightening color and they always remind me of my birthday, which is in spring. So I thought I'd pick them up. It was two bunches for one pound. So I picked up two and I've just had them on the side here. They also smell incredible. So I have just had my porridge this morning. I'm trying to have breakfast a little bit later. I'm trying to get on with some work and then have breakfast at like half 10 because I'm getting so hungry in the morning because I'm having my breakfast at like seven o'clock. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to have that a little bit later. And I now I'm gonna get cracking with some filming. I really want to film some new reels today some styling reels so i'm gonna get my background all set up and then i'm going to start filming so when i set up my background i just start by getting my tripod out this is just from amazon i thought this might be interesting to know in case you um want to know how i film reels or i just want to show you how easy it is really and you don't need like all the equipment you literally just need a few things and you're ready to go to be honest you don't even need a tripod you could just stack up whatever you've got like some chairs or books or whatever but it is a lot easier to have a tripod um so i've got my tripod here i usually just set this up at um the height that i think and then i get my phone and i always film on my back camera like the back of the phone because the front camera is awful um so i just set this up here get it onto video um just to kind of see what what this is looking like and then yeah i just kind of place it how i think i'm gonna want it to look I always like to do this first because as soon as I've got my outfits ready, I can just start filming. Okay. Then I'm just going to do a practice stand in place and see how it looks. Okay, perfect. All set up, ready, 30 seconds. So I now need to go and get my outfits on. I pretty much planned them. I usually write them down on my notes and then I know what I'm doing. I can just get them all out and go through it super quickly. Also, I forgot to mention, while I'm shooting, I always have something on in the background. Sometimes it's music, sometimes it's a podcast. Right now, I'm just in the mood to put some music on. So I've got my playlist, Working From Home. I actually made this in lockdown years ago, um, Working From Home, like Monday the Studio. And yeah, I still use it all the time. I know a couple of you also listen to it. So if you fancy listening to my working from home playlist, then I'll leave it linked below. I do try and add to it quite a bit. Haven't actually updated it for ages. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm listening to today. I finished filming my reels now. I've also just sat down and had some soup for lunch and edited the reels. I've also edited some content that I shot last week, planned out my Instagram feed, um, and then planned some content that I might need to shoot this week as well. So that's all done. Um, I'm now just charging up my phone because I didn't realize I've only got 20% and um, I need to go out. So I need to charge my phone for a little bit, but I'm gonna pop into town. I really wanna get a new book because, actually, let me show you the book that I've um just finished reading one thing i really wanted to do this year was get back into reading and have it as kind of like my wind down time so oh the lighting's really nice in here sorry about the mess behind me that's just from filming i need to tidy that up but this is the book that i have read i read it in about a week um it's so so good jack's mum actually gave it to me to read um so i wouldn't have probably bought this necessarily um although it is the genre of book that i love it's called the pact by sharon bolton 
and I'll link it below. I absolutely loved it. I read it in about seven days, probably. Um, yeah, probably about five to seven days. Um, and it's about a group of young kids, like teenagers, um, and something goes on and then it's kind of like 20 years later, what happens? There are so many twists and turns. I just kept wanting to read it because it was really good. So yeah, I'll link it below. Uh, she also wrote The Split, which is another one that I, I think, I can't think if I've read it or not, but um, I really recognised the cover, so I may have read it on my Kindle or something ages ago. But yeah. Also, um, I just thought I'd show you, this is where I'm filming all the time when I'm getting ready. I've got this massive windowsill here and um, it's so good for getting ready because the light just comes straight through the window here. Um, I've got my little marble tray here from H&M which I'll link below and I've just popped on a couple of little bits that I use every day. Sometimes I have some flowers on here as well because it just looks really pretty. But I want to get a little mirror, like a small dresser mirror. Um, I have seen a couple that I like, but I'm not overly mad on them. So I'm still looking. I might have a look in an interiors shop actually in town because it's really cool. And they've got some nice vases. So maybe I'll try and take you in there if I don't feel awkward. But how pretty does this look? I'm so happy with it. I washed all of the bedding yesterday so that it was all fresh and clean for the week and um, the actual like bed sheet wasn't dry yet, the duvet cover wasn't dry so um, we had to sleep just with the duvet last night without the bed sheet. I need to get like another set of white bedding so that I can alternate because I think it'll be a lot easier because it takes quite a while for things to dry um, and we haven't got many places to hang stuff, so I'm gonna order, I think, another white um, bedding set so that I can wash the bedding each week and just switch it over. So I'm gonna just make the bed now. And I thought I would show you how, I'll put the sheet on and then I'll show you how I make the bed look like a hotel and like some little tips I do. It's so easy and quick, so um, yeah, I think it's worth showing. What I do, once I've put all my fresh bedding on, um, I don't iron my bedding, but I like it to be as fresh and crisp and crease free as possible. So usually I steam it if I need to, but what I've been doing since moving here is actually using this spray and it's incredible for bedding, for shirts, like anything white and crisp. Spray this on it creases are gone in seconds so um this is the Lenore crease releaser I'll show you it I bought this from the supermarket this is the scent spring awakening and it smells incredible I love it for bedding because it makes it feel so fresh and it actually gets rid of creases so all you do I've got these little pillows that I have on the bed I absolutely hate like I despise pillows like loads of cushions. You know when people just have like 50 cushions on their bed, I really don't like it. Um, each to their own, but I don't like it. So um, I only have these ones. We've got like two pillows each and then these little cushions, which are just linen, they just blend into the bed. Um, I actually use these quite a lot when I'm sat up in bed reading. I like to have an extra one to put my head on or sometimes I stack these up and put my laptop on it, things like that. So, these are from Zara Home, these cushion covers. The cushions are like duck feather pillows. Um, my mum's, they're actually my mum's. She had them since I was born, I think. But she didn't want them anymore, so I took them. As you can see, which I hope you can, this is quite creased. I hope you can see that. So, all I do is spray this on the pillow. Can you see? So, I just spray it on. Just like a few times across the pillow. I'll do the same to the other one. Can you see if that's, can you see how that's creased? Spray it on the pillow. 
and then you literally just leave it like i just leave it like that and then when you i lay them out on the floor and then honestly when i get back from town you won't believe how they'll be like crease free so i'm going to do that to my bedding as well I will link down below my duvet, um, my bedding, the pillows that we have, um, and yeah, anything else that I can think of. I'll link my bed as well, because I always get questions on that. Um, this is a king size duck feather. I think it's like 13.5 tog, possibly. Um, duvet, it's huge, it's really heavy, and it's got like crisscross. Um, feathers in you can probably see the crisscross and honestly this is the best duvet it's like a hotel style bedding um, I invested quite a bit of money in our bed setup because I think it's so important so yeah this is how I make the bed I always like to fold the first half down because I feel like it makes the bed a little bit more inviting when you get into it at night Once I have like made the bed look nice, I just plump up all the pillows and then I fold the duvet back like this. I do this every morning. Um, and because, because um, this is like freshly washed bedding, it's quite creased. So I'm gonna use my crease release and all I do is just spray it across each panel, like the folded back and then the normal section and then I just leave it. rail i'm so excited about this um i got this from amazon and i am i am going to be filming um uh what i bought from amazon part two but i'm so excited i cannot wait to share this so i just want to share it with you now so this is me unpacking the clothing rail um it took me so long to get this wrapping off the rail which is why i've sped this up but I also really wouldn't recommend this. It actually snapped within seconds of me using it. I was halfway through filming last week's video and the rail snapped in half, probably because I had too much on it. But um, yeah, I just wouldn't really recommend it that much. I thought I'd have to include this in case any of you go and buy it. But I have ordered a new one, which is a different shape. So hopefully that should be a bit more sturdy, but I'll still link it below in case you do like it. Right, finally, I've opened it. That took me literally 10 minutes. Um, so, this is what the rail looks like. This is the section to hang pieces on. Obviously, it's quite small, but I didn't want a huge big rail. I just wanted something really small that looks cool. So, all I have to do is attach it onto the bottom. Here is the rail. It's so small. Like, it's literally up to my chest <laughs> but it looks so nice and just exactly what i wanted when i do my styling videos i just wanted to be able to hang like a few pieces on there and yeah i love it it looks so perfect i'll link this down below okay guys i'm just gonna switch over to my phone for the time being while i go out um but i just want to show you what i've popped on i've got my acne beanie because it's cold outside and this massive men's zara bomber which I always put on when it's really cold because it's so warm. As an older leggings, and then I've just got a pair of these fourth sport socks, and I'm gonna put on my big boots and I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm back home. I have my nails done. 
Um, I absolutely love them. I just got infills and then another coat of gel. Super natural. I always get the same. Um, I just ask for a really, really natural colour. And then I just get the same one over and over again. But I went to a new salon and I loved it. And they also do um, lashes, massages. They do waxing, facials, um, everything. Um, I'm back home now. I've literally just walked in the door. And I really need to get on because it's already 3 o'clock. And I've got an hour until my call with Amy. So... That means I have an hour to finish filming, tidy up all of this mess, and yeah, I haven't got morning. Today is Tuesday, and I am just getting my um, Pilates class up on the TV. And I thought I would show you how I do it, because I don't know if anyone else knows how to do this, but I discovered it recently. Also, I'm very sorry about my white, red face and tanned body. Um, I do tan my face a little bit, but I use a spray and I did like an exfoliating toner last night So it's completely stripped it off. So sorry. I look crazy Um, this little workout top is from sweaty Betty by the way, and then I'm wearing these um, Really lovely workout leggings are from Reese, which I will try link down below if they're still in stock So I really love them um, so anyway, let me flip this around and I'll show you how I connect the TV on my phone. This is the Pilates Class app. So I am actually a member and just for full disclosure, they do um, gift me my membership. So I've got it for three months at a time and I can renew it if I want to with them, which is amazing. But honestly, I would pay for this because I use it every single day. You just um, drag down from the top and this is like your home screen. Now, if you select the screen mirroring, it should come up with the TV. There we go. You can see that it's literally reflecting my phone. So if I hold this up next to it, you can see that it's literally screen mirroring. I don't know if this is really dumb and like everyone already knows about this, but I've only just figured out. So um, just in case you don't know. I feel like this is life changing. I'm doing a reformer class tomorrow, so I don't want to do anything crazy. I think I'm going to do this 18 minute stretch and flexibility class. So I've got Jackie on my TV with her white curtains that are exactly like mine. <laughs> and I can do my class with her, which is just amazing. So if you think about, take a breath in, and just opening. You want to work your weight back, but just slightly press your weight back if you're. If Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm just using my phone light because it's pitch black. It's currently 6.26 and I'm just on the way to the station. Um, my train's at 7 so I get into London for like just before 8 and then I'm going straight to my reformer class at Flow London. I can't really vlog in there, it's quite difficult but I will try and put in some... Whoops, <laughs> went dark. Um, I will try and put in some pictures. I'll try and take some so you can see the reformer machines and, sorry, and um, yeah, what it's like in there because I absolutely love it. And I know some of you live in London or you go to London quite a lot. So if you're interested, you should definitely <laughs> check out the classes <laughs> um, because I absolutely love them. Um, but yeah, that's my plan. I've got a really busy day. So once I've finished Reformer, I will catch up with you and give you like an update on the day. Okay, I've just finished the class. It was really good. I absolutely love um, Reformer. I literally don't care about vlogging in London because nobody knows me so it's fine. Um, yeah, it's really good. I really recommend going if you haven't before. Um, it's just such a great way to start the day. Anyway, I'm off to, I've got a meeting with Under the Stories so I'm just going to head over to Regent Street. I'm just going to walk because um, it's literally like 20 minute walk and I can get my steps in. It's such a nice day. It's so sunny. I hope the exposure's alright. Um, yeah, so I just did my makeup in there and I'm gonna head over there now. I haven't actually got changed into like my outfit of the day yet. I'm gonna do it when I get to end of the stories because I wanted to stay comfy. So yeah, I'll catch up with you when I'm in store and I'll show you um, some nice bits and I'll do a little try on as well, show you what I'm liking in store at the minute.
Okay, I'm just having a look at all of the rails and stuff. I usually start at the beginning, work my way to the back so that I can look at everything. I've already got some really, really nice pieces. Um, I really, really recommend coming in and having a look in store because it's so good at the minute. Um, I feel like there's some really nice transitional bits for spring. I just love everything. Here's my um, selection of things so far. Really nice mix. I love this jacket. Um, also, the beauty in stories is really, really good. Um, they have a really nice scent that I love. Where is it? This one. Beautiful. It literally smells so, so nice. So, yeah, I really, really recommend coming. Oh, and also this smells so, so good as well. Okay, I'm in the changing room. I've got six pieces to try on, so I'm going to get started. First thing is this, like, mohair knit this is so gorgeous i absolutely love this color it's like a caramelly um almost like a banana -y caramel i just love this it's so lovely um i really like this fabric it's definitely my favorite texture I, although it does molt a little bit like you can see it's molting already um i just love it i think it looks so cool and this tucked into some suit trousers would look amazing Okay, the next piece that I'm trying on is this dress. This is so beautiful. And this is the kind of thing that I love to wear in spring, especially when it's a little bit colder because you can layer um, pieces under this and it still looks really chic. This is actually really similar to what I'm wearing today, um, but a little bit more slouchy. Again, I really love this material and other stories just do the best knit. They're just always so soft and fuzzy. I really like this colour and I've actually just put on the boots that I'm wearing today, these um, knee high boots. These are actually from Under the Stories as well but they're quite old and I just really like how that looks with the slit, really lovely. I had a little look online last night and I saw this coat which I really love and I don't actually own a coat like this. I need something that's a little bit more oversized that I can just throw on over anything and I love how it looks with this dress. Um, they're both the same length and I kind of similar colors and I just absolutely love it. I think I'm gonna definitely get this coat because it looks so beautiful. And again, a really nice thing for spring because it's quite a light shade. This is another spring outfit that I love to wear. Um, I, I'm obsessed with chocolate brown at the minute. I just think it looks so gorgeous. It looks really expensive as well. And I have a brown coat that I think would look so lovely with this outfit. This skirt is a little bit too big, so I do need to get um, a size down just so that it sits really nicely at the waist. And then I can have this jumper tucked in with it. But this is a really good idea for spring looks to create something really nice and tonal so obviously i did the same with this outfit these tones are quite similar and then the same with this the browns are pretty much the same just a different fabric and i really love how that looks and i've also just kept on these boots but you could also wear this with trainers as well if you wanted something a little bit more casual i'm absolutely in love with this jacket Oh my god, I want it so much. How gorgeous is this? It's like a cropped bomber, um, but with like a teddy shearling fabric. Little cuffs on the end. And then it's just got, um, it's got no collar, so it's just like a round neck, which is really nice and so flattering. I've got this in a size small, um, and it does come up quite big actually. I'll link everything below with the sizes as well, in case you need them. But oh my god, I love this. I literally want everything I've tried on. It's gonna be difficult. Um, this is the dress that I'm actually wearing today, but uh, it's from under the story, so I thought I'd just show you it. It's still in stock, even though I've had it for, I think I've had it for like two years now. So lovely. It's got this um, wrap detail here, which really brings in your waist, and it's knitted, and it's super comfortable. It's really, really soft. And yeah, it's really comfy, but it looks really put together. And with this slit, I think it looks really nice with knee-high boots. 
so I finished up in under the stories. I just had a quick phone call meeting um, for something quite exciting actually. I've got a new um, client potentially, content creation client, which is very fun. So um, yeah, I just had a quick meeting about that. And now I'm just waiting for Millie to get here. Um, I'm just outside Petersham Nurseries in Covent Garden because we are going to the me and um, press day, spring press day, which I'm very excited about. And she should be here any sec. So as soon as she gets here, we can head in and have a little browse. And then we're gonna get some lunch after, which I'm very excited for. I'm feeling quite tired now. The 5 a.m. starts are very tiring when you get to kind of like lunchtime, especially when you've been walking around all day. But I am very excited to show you the pieces that I got in and up the stories. Um, I ordered a couple of the other bits that I tried on. So I've taken home the coat and the, what else did I take? Oh, the brown jumper. And then I've ordered the skirt and also the, um, the skirt and also the bomber jacket because they didn't have my size. So I'm really excited to style those up and shoot them. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for Millie and then we can head in. Hello everyone. I haven't vlogged um, since, when did I last vlog? Oh, it was when I was with Millie having a glass of wine at, I can't remember what that place is called actually, but it's opposite Beachtown Nurseries. It's really, really, really nice. I really recommend it. And um, we just sat outside and had a glass of wine and a catch up, which was lovely. Um, but yeah, I've literally just got home about five minutes ago and I'm just going to quickly unpack my stuff. It's like I'm just about to be seven o'clock, I think. Um, I need to unpack. I've just already unpacked my stuff from today and now I'm repacking because I've got a shoot tomorrow for one of my uh, Monday clients. If you don't know already, I have a content creation um business which i kind of run in conjunction with my influencer stuff as well so um i work with my mum and we do like content creation shoots um for brands which is really good for their content rather than like for my page i absolutely love doing it it's so fun it just means i can get so creative with content and yeah i love it so I'm just um all the pieces for the shoot were delivered. Huh? Are you filming? Yeah. All the pieces for the shoot were delivered to my mum's house. So I'm just basically getting bits for styling purposes. Thanks for that um cameo, Jack. <laughs> Thanks for the cameo. You're welcome. Um, yeah, so I'm just getting like hats, scarves, uh, I think we're mainly shooting like blouses and things, so I've got trousers to shoot, and yeah, bits and bobs like that. And then I'm actually also just going to bring a couple of my, um, it's only a half day shoot, so I'm going to bring a couple of my own outfits as well to, um get a couple of outfit pictures for Instagram as well because we're shooting at my favourite location. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. We're also going to make a chicken katsu curry for dinner and when I say make, I mean put some chicken in the oven, Shh, don't tell put some rice in the microwave and use a sauce from a jar. So yeah, <laughs> not really make. But yeah, I'm gonna get on with this now and I will probably catch up with you tomorrow morning. I've got another early start um, and a busy day. So I cannot wait to get to bed. So I didn't actually end up filming anything on Thursday because the shoot day was just so busy. Um, it ended up being a full day and we had so much to shoot. I think we did about 11 or 12 looks. So yeah, it was quite intense. And I also went back home to my mum's house, so I saw my brother and my dog and my mum and I just spent the rest of the afternoon slash evening with them. 
And then we didn't get home after that until like eight o'clock and I was so shattered from the last couple of days. So I just had, um, I think we had pizzas for dinner and I just went to bed. And I'm now editing this back and I've realized that I didn't even film much on Friday either because as you can see, I had a really intense cleaning day and I just cleaned the entire flat top to bottom. I cleaned like the oven, the microwave, everything. So it's really nice and clean now, but it was quite boring to vlog. So as I said at the beginning of the video, this vlog was a little bit all over the place. So I really hope you enjoyed. I know sometimes my weekly vlogs are a little bit sporadic. I, I feel like if I do an intro and an outro to the video, it sums it up a little bit more and it might be a bit better for you to watch. But yeah, I am sorry about it and I will get better, I promise. Um, I think maybe I'm gonna change the weekly vlogs to a few days a week that are interesting rather than every single day because when I'm not really doing much on a certain day, I film a couple of clips, but it's not really enough to show you an entire day. And I feel like that's where the vlog ends up looking a little bit sparse. So let me know what you think about that. Um, obviously I wanna create things that you guys wanna watch. So let me know if you just don't really care or you'd like it to have more of a format, um, that'd be very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. There's like 46% of you guys that watch my videos that aren't subscribed, which is crazy. Please hit the button and subscribe. It would mean the world. And I will see you in Thursday's video. Bye.